What is Gucci, everybody? It's AJ, and I wanted to make a short tutorial on protocols in Swift, a specific protocol, and that is the Equatable Protocol. And what the Equatable Protocol allows you to do is compare two objects using the double equal sign or the does not equal sign. So for instance, easily you can do a very simple comparison of one equal to two because those types are both defined. But what if you had your own objects and you wanted to compare them? Well, that's we're going to show you how to do this in this video. We're going to start off by making a simple class. We're going to call it teacher. And then we're going to make it assign, go to the protocol of equatable. And so if I, can, if I command click on equatable, I will be bought, brought to the equatable protocol. And it basically tells you what I just said. This is how you get the operators equals equals and does not equals. And then when adapting this equatable operator, you only need to override the equal equals operator. It's pretty, and it talks more about all the rules for the equatable, but you, you pretty much know them. Um, X equal equals X is true. X equal equals Y implies Y equals equals X. And then the transitive property, if X equals Y and Y equals Z, then X equals Z, right? Okay. So we're going to make this teacher class very simple. We're just going to give it a instance variable of a name and we'll make it a string. And then we're going to make our init method assign a name to that instance variable by saying name equals name. Make sure you have that self dot or else inside this functional thing, both these names are the same, but with the self dot name, we're referring to the instance variable. And let's see, it's giving us, it's giving us error that it does not, that teacher does not perform to the protocol equatable. And now we're going to actually write the form equatable. And what we can do is I can command click again and go in and copy this function, which was supposed to override. And now I can go back and paste it. Now I'm going to do something very tricky that you have to do in the equatable functionality in the equatable algorithm that you don't always need to do. And what that is, is you need to override it, but you, you need to override it by writing your own equal equals function. But you need to do it outside of the class. And the reason you need to do it outside of the class is because equal equals is a global function and you need to override it for the specific objects that you want to compare. So in this case, instead of self, we're going to do teacher. The left hand side is teacher and the right hand side is teacher. And so I'm going to say return true right now. And that's basically it for right now. And as you can see, our error went away in line six. And now within this function, this equals equals function, I can write whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to take the left hand side dot name and compare it to the right hand side. And the reason because we can use the equal equals within this function is because we're comparing two strings and strings have their own equatable method. And if we go to string, well, it doesn't say it's equatable, but I, I'm sure it has an extension which makes it equatable. So now we're going to do some quick testing and I'm going to do var one, I'm going to make a teacher object and we'll set the name to AJ. And now we're going to set the name to, we're going to make another variable called teacher Bob. Bobo. And now we're going to do some simple comparison. So we're going to be one equal equals two. What should our answer be? Since we're comparing the names, the answer should be false. And let me bring that all the way over there. The answer should be false. And then what if I do one does not equal to. So one does not equal to, that's going to be a true statement. As you can see right there, it says true. So remember the key thing to remember is to give it equatable up top in the class, in the class protocols, and then define equal equals with the correct classes you want to compare outside of your class as a global function, which just means it's, it's a method declared on its own within no class or protocol. And then you can compare them. And this will, this equal equals will only be overridden when you compare it with the right parameters. In this case, the right parameters would be a teacher object and a teacher object. So if you want to have a different equals method and let the compiler know about that, you simply just do the same function, but with different parameters and then define how you want it to be defined inside. And if we wanted to add other parameters such as, such as age to the teacher object, then we would just, you know, add age and then we can do and statements or do whatever we wanted inside this function to determine if our object was equal. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if I can do anything better and have the best day of your lives. And today, look people in the eye. It's a very good thing to do.